Hello and welcome to Gearheads. My name's Jesse and today I'm going to give you guys a review and look over of the 72 inch Harbor Freight toolbox that I've got right down here. Um, on top I've also got the 46 inch tool chest and I have the cabinet over here on the side. So I've had the toolbox for about a year now and I've had oh, this also for a year, both of these, and then I've had the cabinet just for a couple months. but. Either way, I work in a professional shop. I use this all day, every day. And does it hold up? Is it made well? Do I like it or not? Let's go over it. I'll show you guys uh, you know, some of the features with it, kind of give you an idea of how it's laid out. And I'll, then I'll go ahead and tell you guys what I do like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. All right, so I picked this toolbox uh, for a couple reasons. Um, I, I thought about getting the 56 inch one, but it just didn't seem to make much sense to me when at the time I could afford to buy this one and it definitely has more space. And I wanted to have a top chest, but I still wanted to have a usable workspace for a desk. As you can see, I have my scanner over here and I have a laptop up here. Um, and this has worked out you know, great for that because I have plenty of tool storage down here. I got more storage up there for other things and I have my own little desk space on the side. And then I ended up getting the, you know, the cabinet to mount up there too, which is I've been happy with so far. So check this out. Um, we've got up top first our big drawer. They slide, you know, it slides real nice and it's pretty tight. It's got a decent amount of weight in here. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of empty space here. I'm sure I'll get more tools to fill that up sometime soon. But this is mostly just my socket drawer and other things. I've got a, a blue point set here. It's got Allens and Torx and stuff like that in it. Uh, anyway, there's a there's some weight in this. It's not super, you know, super heavy, but it's a nice firm, you know. It stays nice and firm and it rolls real nice. I just let go of it. It'll probably, maybe not, it doesn't have that easy glide thing like the snap-on ones do. You can let it go and it'll, at the very end it'll kind of catch and roll in. But um, So that's the top drawer. These drawers are all the same size, so the next few. So on this one I got some wrenches. I got more wrenches. Now what do I got here? I got screwdrivers and a couple pry tools and chisels and stuff like that. Hammers, big pliers. Those are, I love those by the way, the big ass channel locks. Some uh, pickle forks, random crap. Down here, not as much as I used to, so um, I've just recently been reorganizing this box. But either way, all of these drawers roll and, and still after a year at least so far are good. And another thing, I didn't show you at the top drawer, They've got dual slides on each side up here, which is, you know, why why it can take a decent amount of weight and still roll nicely. The smaller drawers, you know, only one, but they're not as deep, so you're not probably going to be putting as much weight into each of those. Uh, similar story with these guys. They're just, you know, single single slides on there. Got some socket wrenches in there. Had extensions in here. A lot of my a lot of stuff in my tool cart right now because I was just doing a really uh, a pretty big job. So I have a lot of tools out of the box right now. Actually, it's random random things in there. So I mean, as you can see, you know, they all slide slide nicely. I'm I'm not giving really much effort at all here. But they uh, they've been good. This toolbox has been good. I don't need. Nothing there. I got some electrical stuff in here right now. These two drawers are about to be empty soon, but anyway. Oh, same store over here. Three more drawers here that are the same as the other ones. And then we've got this nice, this nice deep one here, which is also uh, got you know two rollers on it too, one up high and one low. And it's empty right now. I just cleared it out. So anyway, uh, let's I'll give you guys a couple dimensions on how, how big these drawers are. All right, so I'll be using uh, this one-handed here, and you might see I've got my my snap-off sticker on my Harbor Freight box. The uh, this, the guy on the snap-on truck loves that sticker. He actually had a pretty good sense of humor about it. But anyways, let's go ahead and just see here. It's a 72-inch box. It's like a hair short of 72 inches. Uh, get the camera to focus. That's like 71 and a half inches or so. So obviously the drawers. Um, the, yeah, there's no one drawer that goes across the whole thing. So let's just go ahead and measure this one. This drawer is 52 inches. That's pretty good. I'm actually really happy. I really like this drawer. There's a lot of room in here for stuff. So all of these drawers are the same depth. Um, 
but so this one's what uh, from the very back up until you run out of space is about 19 and a little over 19 and a half inches not quite 20 inches um, it's you know it works uh, I, I use this thing it's loaded up it holds tools so you know it, it's real wide let's measure these ones they're all the same depth though so they're all gonna be you know, let me get this they're all gonna be that like 19 and a half or three-quarter depth I should have just grabbed it there the first time, shouldn't I? Whatever. All right, so these these ones are all about 37 and a quarter. That's going to be the same for the rest of these down here. And then these guys, how wide is this? So about a foot wide, just a hair over, a hair over a foot wide for these uh, for these drawers. And I'm pretty dang sure these ones are the same on this side. Let's see. Yep, they're the same. Just a, a hair over a foot. And, okay, let's see how tall it is. All right, so from the ground up, we are looking at, to the top here, we're looking at about 44 inches. So I, it's a good level for me. I like that because, uh, like I said, I use this kind of as a desk. So, um, you know, at least from somebody my height, this is a great desk space. It's above, just about at my waist level, which is nice. So, uh Eh, let's see, how tall is it if you took the wheels out of the equation? Just out of curiosity. 35 inches. All right, so we put the tape measure away. I feel like that's a pretty good look at least to show you guys, you know, the dimensions and just kind of what the box looks like, how the drawers are laid out. Um, <clears throat> now I'll give you my thoughts on it. I'll tell you what I don't like and what I do like. Uh, I'll tell you what I don't like first, and the list isn't long. The main two things with this box that I don't really like are the drawer depth. Um, it's not bad, honestly. Like, you know, we measured it already. It's almost 20 inches, 19 and a half inches. That's not a bad drawer depth. It's pretty good, honestly. But I honestly kind of just want a little bit more than that. Uh, you know, with some of the professional boxes, like the Snap-on ones and the Matco ones, even the Cornwells, uh, and, and other boxes out there you can buy, Homac, uh, a lot of them do offer their boxes with like 22 inch, 24 inch depth drawers. That's really nice. It doesn't sound like a lot, but that extra few inches actually makes a huge difference. So that's one thing I really do wish that this box had. I would be so stoked if this box was pretty much laid out almost just the way it is, just with a few inches deeper drawers. I don't know how much more that would cost them to make and sell that way, but you know, I, I know they're coming out with a new uh, uh, Icon, the new tool brand that, that Harbor Freight's going to be selling soon. So. They have Pittsburgh Pro already, and then they've got these U.S. General boxes, and apparently they're gonna this year they're gonna start rolling out this Icon brand, and they're gonna have a new toolbox or toolboxes um, labeled under that. So maybe that's something they'll address with those boxes. I have no idea. I don't think anybody really knows yet, unless you uh, have an inside tip. Um, so that's the first thing I don't like about the box. The other thing I am not a huge fan of, it's not a problem necessarily, but it would be nice, is the locking system. So all the drawers have locks on them, which I like. I like that the drawers lock, but I don't like as much at least. I don't dislike, but the, the uh, release is on the right side for all these drawers. Some of the nice toolboxes, like the Matco ones, Cornwell and Snap-on, they, the lever is built into the handle, so if you lock it, you can't open any of them, but as long as the box is unlocked, you can just grab anywhere on the whole, you know, handle, lift and pull. That's really nice, and I like that. The, the biggest reason is just because sometimes you got a tool or something in your hand, you just want to come grab something real quick, and it's just easier to be able to just reach anywhere on the drawer and pull with whatever hand is free, versus if I'm, my right hand's got something, I gotta lean over, pull, and whatever. But it's not, you know, it's not a deal breaker, it's not a huge deal, and, and I'm still okay with it. So the, and the third thing that uh, I've noticed with the box, as far as how well the box has held up, all the drawers have been great, haven't had any problems with them at all. Um, I've lubed them a couple times, just sprayed a little bit of white lithium grease in the sliders. Just, I figured, you know, do that once in a while, it'll help them last longer and, and roll smoother. Um, but the one thing I have noticed is this guy here on top. So one, what, it was fine for like four or five months. And then last summer it got really, really hot. And when it got super hot in the shop, one of those days, 
the glue that holds this down on the top of the box ended up coming, you know, basically I guess it melted and let go and let this lift up. So it looks nice and it feels good and it's a good work surface it seems like for most stuff. Uh, but you know, it lifted and it stretched up like this, which is a little bit of a bummer. Once again, it's not a deal breaker for me. It's not the end of the world. What I'll probably do, or would like to do at some point, is I'll take this box off and then just do a whole new top up here. Uh, you know, I could use like cutting board wood or I could put a steel top or, you know, something. I don't know. Or I could try and do something artsy and fancy. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out eventually. But for now, it doesn't bother me enough to do anything about it. It's just... I would, you know, I would prefer that didn't happen on my nice toolbox that I paid a decent amount of money for. But at the end of the day, that's kind of what it all comes down to, how much money I spent. This box cost me, uh, I think I had a coupon on it when I got it or whatever, it was a thousand bucks. I think they normally are eleven hundred dollars, but I got this one for a thousand bucks. For a thousand dollars, this toolbox is so much nicer than what, you know, what you really could expect anywhere else. Because by the way, you know, when I rolled this thing out, uh, you know, of Harbor Freight, got it here. Luckily, we had a forklift to get this thing off the truck. But even once we got it off the truck with a forklift, it was still a giant pain in the butt because then I, I didn't use a forklift to get it out of the box. I disassembled the box that it comes in and it comes on a pallet and I broke apart the pallet and it took me and my boss uh, a little while and it was real heavy to get slid lifted into the side off of that pallet. These things are made really well. Uh, there's a really good YouTube channel called Real Tool Reviews and um, I think he has an example of taking one of these apart or some of the similar ones, uh, some, maybe the 56 inch box or something like that. I could be remembering wrong but um, they seem to be made really well to a really good quality. For a thousand dollars it's completely worth it and I'm really happy with it. Um, what are some things I really like about it? Uh, I mean, you know, the, I guess that's it really, the price. <laughs> the price, and, and I'm happy with the quality for that price. It works really well, and, and I'm stoked to have it. Uh, someday maybe I'll upgrade, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just keep buying more boxes and have more space. As long as it doesn't break, I don't see any reason why I would get rid of it. And uh, if it does break, it's got a pretty good warranty. So, anyway. Less money spent on the toolbox means more money I can spend on actual tools to do my job. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or you have any comments down below, uh, other stuff you'd like to add that you might know about this box that I don't, uh, let us know. If you have anything fun or you know informative to share, if you have any more questions about the box, drop it down below and, and uh, I'll get back to you if I can and uh, answer your questions. And yeah. Good job, Harbor Freight. Thank you for offering affordable toolboxes for those of us that are, uh, you know, still somewhat young in our career and you want to have a lot of space and somewhere to put our tools, but can't quite afford going with a Snap-on or Matco box. Anyways, once again, thank you so much for watching. As always, keep wrenching. <laughs>